today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace the oil on any car. But this specific video is dedicated to Mazda 2s from 2007 to 2011. The first thing you're going to need is an oil filter wrench, an oil filter, uh, race ramps, jack or jack stands, some basic hand tools, oil pan, and oil for, for your specific car. I'll chuck viscosity oil for this car up on the screen now. Uh, and you'll also, for this car, you'll need a cross washer when you remove the drain bolt. Alright, let's get started. First, remove your oil fill plug to let air in and make the oil drain faster. Once you've done that, grab all your tools and chuck them underneath the car. Next, locate your oil pan. So, that's your radiator. And then back a little bit, there's your oil filter. And then right next to it is the oil pan. And that's the bolt, 19 mil bolt. Next, you wanna undo the drain bolt with a breaker bar. If you don't have a breaker bar, you can find a long pipe and put it over your ratchet. And just break it loose, like so. Next, get your ratchet and undo the bolt. Like so. And then just undo it with your hand. Be good. So just untighten the bolt with your hand. And then little technique, push in the bolt. And then you won't get oil over your hand. So push the bolt in and then boom. There you go. There we go. Now just let that drain. Next, grab your new cross washer and put it onto your drain bolt. Alright, next, clean your oil pan from any spills. And also just clean this around for if you have any oil leaks later, you'll be able to diagnose it because you cleaned it in the first place. Next, grab your bolt with the new cross washer. And thread her back in. Just only do hand tight for now. And then one, just get your 19mm socket with your ratchet and just snug it up. Like so. And if you know you can't undo it with your hand, you know it's done not tight enough. Next, if you can't do it off by hand, use the oil filter wrench, but I can get it off by hand. Be careful, uh, the, when you take the oil filter off, it'll drip, as you can see. Just let it drip out. Make sure you have your oil um, catch can underneath. Okay, next just grab a rag and clean the mating surface and clean the uh, the gasket or the o-ring off the oil filter if yours has been left, but mine looks good. I'm just cleaning the excess oil. Next, grab your oil filter. We're going with Ryko once again. Just grab it out of the box. Take the plastic um, covering off and install it into the oil filter slot. Okay, next, this bit is crucial. Make sure you fill up your oil filter to the top and make sure your engine doesn't run dry. 
for the first time when starting up. So just fill it to the top. Like so. Now what's not so crucial, just get a little bit of oil onto your finger and lube it around the o-ring, that way you can get it off easier your next oil change. Next just grab the filter and thread it into the slot like so and twist. You'll feel it grab that way you know it's on and once you know it's on just spin it as fast as you can like so and make sure it's only hand tight because you don't want to over tighten these otherwise it will lead to problems so just only do hand tight okay next filling up the oil I'm using 5W40 by Penrite. 5W means the how fast the oil travels at a cold start, and then 40 means how fast the oil travels or flows during um, operating temperature. So now this this engine takes four liters, but I got a little bit over four liters, maybe four and a half. Now you want to tip the bottle on the side so you get a, a good pour. I can't do it because I've got one hand and one hand on the camera. So, yeah. Okay, this car requires four liters of oil. So, once you get down to the two liter mark, you should be able to drive your car off the ramp and the oil light should go off. You wanna start the car, and you wanna look for that oil pressure light. If that goes off, then you know you could add the correct amount of oil. There we go. Now it's gone off, so we've got the right amount of oil. So now you back the car down and then check the level with the dipstick. Okay, once you get the dipstick out, make sure the oil is filled up to the top dot. That means you've filled it up enough. And with that, that's how you do an oil change on a 2007 to 2011 Mazda 2. Make sure you don't have an oil pressure light. And it's right there. We are good. Make sure you check your, uh, your dipstick level and make sure it's at the top dot. And with that, we are done. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe and let me know if you want any future content on this car. Peace.